y'all, man? It's your boy DMV Hustle News. Who the fuck we got in the building, man? Mel's TV, all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, yeah, Mel's TV came to the DMV, man. Oh, of course, you know, every time I come out here, I'm tapping with you, man. That's oh, yeah. Time, that's how we was at the Go Go Gym. Yeah, you can't you slid down to Club One from a B day and shit yeah, like that, bro. Right, nah, right, for right. real, man. I appreciate that, man. Nah, now, you know, you know, Mel's was like one of the dudes that showed me love, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, when I uh, was first coming up and shit, man. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? My IG was probably like, what, 30, 40,000 followers. Yeah, you got over 100K now. Yeah, I'm at, yeah, <laughs> Nick. I'm touching 200K now. Man, I hope it, I hope it, I hope it grows even more, man. But you was there from the beginning and shit, man. Yeah. Showing love, man. So right here, man, we going, we going to learn some things about you, man. Tell me, tell me about yourself, man. You know, what part of New York you from and everything like that? From Brooklyn, Flatbush, you know, um, Northern Avenue side. Mm -hmm. Everybody that know that area or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, um, you know, I started the brand Mel's TV. Mm-hmm. Seen a, um, a lot of youngins from around our way, they was rapping and stuff like that. They had right. little, you know, I seen how they had the streets buzzing. They wouldn't even have no views up yet and all that, but I don't rap. I, I was trying to manage, but they ain't really, they ain't really feel right what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I just took up the camera and it worked up. You know, facts, you know, like facts. The biggest, biggest blog brand, blogger brand in the town, whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Now, fact, what was you doing that before that then? Well, you know, I was just doing regular, you know, I was. You know, I was doing, I was getting money. Yeah, <laughs> you was getting money, and then you just saw some potential in the in the youth, yeah. and you were just like, I'm about to. I had to tap in because I don't rap, I don't do nothing, but you know, I learned how to use that, just like how you did. Yeah, you know? facts. Yeah. So like, you just like one day woke up and like picked up a camera, or right? break. You ain't Something like that. Yeah. You ain't had no experience. You just picked up a camera. Nah, I ain't have no experience. I just picked it up and went with it, running gun. That's crazy. You know, That's crazy. You know, um, for those that don't know, a lot of big names from out of um, out of Brooklyn come from my brand. Mm -hmm. like, rest in peace to artists like Pop Smoke. Yeah, he fact. Any song out, he used my brand to introduce himself to the world, then drop his song. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he became who he is. Um, Fabio Foreign, of course, Twenty Two G's, mm -hmm. Chef G. Everybody that you know, um, even the Bronx, like Ron Suno. Everybody that's hot in the city, you know they. It, it came through the brand first. Yeah, facts though, man. Now, I was gonna, I was gonna get to that though. I was gonna get to that though, man. Cause I think you had, I think when we had talked, you was like your first interview was with like an artist that was coming up, mm -hmm. and the joint went viral. Mm -hmm. The video went viral and shit. That who was like the the first artist that you had interviewed that that did numbers? Like he was like, oh snap, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was 22 G's. 22 G's. Yeah, 22 G's. I did his early footage, you know, when he had like probably one song or so out, but. Uh -huh. When he came home from jail after the um, thing he made be the charge, he came home from jail from Miami, and I did. I that. heard about that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. I remember that. Vlog and went stupid. Yeah, fast. Went stupid. The pace started going crazier and crazier. Then yeah. when I did Pop Smoke joint, stupid. The Pop Smoke became the biggest artist. Like yeah. to come out of Brooklyn, New York, since and, then. and you had the interview way before he even yeah, blew up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even before he passed, like. You go back to like one of his last posts, like a week before he passed, he said, this is where it all started. He posted the interview. Right. You know right. It's still on his IG, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Now, that's crazy, though. Like, like I rem it, it is crazy because I didn't know who none of these guys were. I mm -hmm. never heard of them. It was more like a... A local buzzing thing, like how it is in the DMV. Like you got artists that's doing millions of views, but you're not really familiar with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you caught on to them before they even like blew up, blew up. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, you got a younger, a new young dude, Dusty Low Kane. Yeah. He sounds similar to Pop, but he's crazy right now. He can yeah. come from my platform also. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody that 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 you know that that catapulted out out the whole NYC actually that's into like I guess what they call the drill movement. Yeah, yeah, facts. From my platform, you know. Yeah, yeah, the New York drill movement, man. Yeah, that yeah that's movement. crazy, man. How did you feel when you, when you found that hip hop some had passed away, man? When, when pop, oh man, it was crazy. It was like, like I said, the closest thing I can compare it to is Biggie, and that's for the youth, because the youth can relate to that more than me. I'm, yeah, they can't I'm relate to them. Yeah. yeah. I would relate to Biggie then for that to the youth, like especially in Brooklyn and New York City, that's like, you know, like Biggie dying, you know what I'm saying? Really? It was that's that bad? It is. Yeah, it's that huge. And he didn't get a chance to like, you know, live out his career. His yeah, career was just had blowing a, up. He had a one year run. Yeah, facts. Yeah, at least Big had like a three year run from like 94 to 97. Pop yeah, yeah. Up. Uh, from 2020 Bro. to 2021, beginning run. Yeah, fact. You know what's crazy? 2019 to 2020, We was at a club. I remember it was me and my man. We was in a club. Um, and uh, what was that joint called? It was a club on Connecticut Avenue in Northwest DC. Mm. Uh, it's called the Rose Bar. We was in the oh, Rose yeah, Bar. Yeah. 
And um, it was this beat that came on, mm -hmm. and bah, give me lit. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. And nobody from out here heard this song before. Mm -hmm. And all I know was, everybody was just like, what is this? This shit sounds amazing. Like, mm -hmm. everybody just stopped like this. Yeah, like everybody stopped dancing like, damn, this shit go. But it wasn't like a style like this song sucks. It was like, this shit go. And then I learned, I looked them up and like, hey, what's the artist name? What's the artist name? It's Pop Smoke. I was like, bro, we got to bring him out DC, man. And fuck with him. But then, you know, he had passed away before we can, you know, even fuck with him. Yeah, facts though, man. Because those to the family and him, you know what I'm saying? Just the third, you know what I'm saying? Whole time though. But nah, like the thing is though, like, you know, tell me like, what's the dangers of being, you know, doing this? You know what I'm saying? Man. Dude, you know, I'm on the front line. I'm outside. I'm like in the worst neighborhoods or neighborhoods where people would. Mm -hmm. The average person don't even go if you're not from there. Yeah, fact. I'm only by myself with my camera, so you know a lot of different situations may have happened in the past. Yeah, whatever. fact. You know it is what it is. You know it, it comes with. You know it comes with being shit that comes with being outside. Yeah, fact. <laughs> yeah, facts. Nah, that's that, nah, that's definitely facts, though. Yeah. Nah, it's facts, cause you know, like a lot of my early work doing interviews. I used to, I was doing interviews in the hood. I'm talking about I do an interview next minute, nigga, about to you know shoot up the whole block. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I've so been, I know I, I've been at interviews like that before where people may have got backed down or. Mm. That yeah, shit yeah. got real. I remember I did an interview. Yeah. A whole group of dudes got ran over by a car. So it's like I know the dangers of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going out there, no strap. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been in the middle of the process. Sometimes you be like, bro, I just want to do a studio interview. I don't yeah. even want to do one in the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's what makes our brands unique. Yeah, facts. Is because you know, believe it or not, people that do studio interviews respect us so much for being. People don't got the balls to actually do the things we do and be the places we be. Yeah, facts. Or not. But I'm not scared of my own people because these are the same places I'm from. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Yeah. So, hold up, just to get a little bit back to yourself, because though, what got you intrigued to the New York Drill movement? Because you come from the 90s, man. You, yeah. You're an older dude. Of course. So, like, you come from Biggie and mm -hmm. uh, 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 DMX mm -hmm. and. Uh, condolences. We just found out back Black Rob died. Yeah, cool. Dips like dip, dip early dip set, early Cameron, mm -hmm. uh, Nas, Jay Z. You come from that. So like, what got you hip to the youngest? You it was just that you saw what they were doing. You saw the potential of what they was doing, or what? Well, the thing with me is, I never. I'm the type of person that never get caught up in my era where I'm from. Facts. I never did. Yeah. I always was a. If I got put in my era, I'll be like how y'all be joking on New York niggas. I'll be wearing Timberlands. <laughs> I'm not caught in my um, paradigm. I could, I, you know, I, up, I update myself. Constantly. Yeah, facts. And you know, I know what's modern around me and know how to capitalize off of it. Thing. Yeah, facts. So you saw something in the youngest, and you were just like, yeah. I gotta do it. Go. I gotta lock in with there the you youngest. Go. I gotta lock in with the youth. And that's the same way I was with my brand uh -huh. because I'm older than the new generation. Like, right, right. you know, I ain't too older, but. You know what I'm saying? The younger generation that's like in the early 20s, late wow, teens, like, yeah. like, 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 I, I come from the go go era. Mm -hmm. So they don't really listen to go go like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? They still respect the culture, but they don't, they ain't come to, they come up to rapping and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I can't hate on them. You nah, know what I'm saying? Cool, so, cool. you know, it's just like, you know, just like, you know, with children, you know, you, you, you ain't gonna see no youngers on the block cracking biggie. I don't know, you might do though. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? But, right, right. you know what I'm saying? But nah, um, so like right here, man, so. Um, we got we gotta address this, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, we I, we gotta address, address this, man. Everything. We gotta address the situation that happened. And we was gonna talk about that early. You know what I'm saying? When you did my interview, but that was the same around the same time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was around the same time. Yeah. So tell me what happened with the little altercation that that went viral. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I had got um, basically, you know, I was a uh, lacking drunk or whatever. You know, a little mm. tipsy, whatever, and you know, I had a little altercation. So I don't even know. I don't even know what for. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even know what for. But you know, it is, it is what it is. Shit happens. You know, that was a while ago. Shit was like a kiss on the cheek. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. facts. I mean, you wasn't going like that though. You was, you was fighting back. Shit is like a kiss on the cheek. But yeah, you know, my head is part of. Like I said, it's things that happen when you outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I saw the video. I'm like, bro, my man fighting back. He ain't ducking nothing. Yeah, yeah, but know. it's just like, you know, you know. But like I said, like we older generations, so the youth they think that we we gotta be what what they on. Yeah, you and, know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it's unfortunate that uh, that um, the environments that we come from operate in those manners. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because facts. At the end of the day. No matter where anybody from, I definitely help catapult somebody in their circles. Yeah, facts. You understand what I'm saying? One way or another. 
Yeah, fact. And you and you you have no bias towards nobody. Nah, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit the little niggas is doing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, facts. You know, I'm, I'm, if they trying to get a bag, then I can relate. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If you ain't trying to do that, I can't really relate. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, man. Mm-hmm. Facts. Like, yeah, because it's, it's definitely crazy out there, man. Right, you know what I'm saying? With the with the whole talk about the woo and the chew. I know you saw the Trap Geek video. Oh, yeah. Trap Geek took all my goddamn good um, interviews. He, the damn interview. I mean, he gave you some credit, though. I ain't going to lie. I said, them for the credit, but you know what I mean? He, yeah. he should let me monetize it. I should got, you know what I mean? Got a little down. check or something. Trap Geek eating, though. You rolling up, huh? Oh, you smoking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all good. Oh, shit. Y'all good. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. On side note, though. Can you bring that bag of funnel right there? What do y'all call it? We call it funnel. Yeah, this is fronto. We call it fronto. So, let me give y'all, let me give y'all the scoop of how fronto, aka funnel, got to D.C. It came from the Jamaicans. It from, yeah, it came from the Jamaicans in New York that yeah, was Flatbush. coming down here it hustling. Flatbush. Flatbush. Yeah. Flatbush. Flatbush niggas brought this out here, you heard? Yeah, yeah. But Flatbush the first dude, brought this to y'all. Cause like if you notice mm-hmm. the uptown, it's like a you know, if you notice if you're from uptown, you know a lot of Jamaicans did uptown. So they brought that's they brought the funnel uptown and, and then And what happened was I think because of the accent, it got misinterpreted from frontal to funnel. Oh but you know, you know, you know, we from DC. We always like to switch up anything, well, anything. Y'all got your own style. Yeah, so it's like we. This, that's why I like DC. Y'all, 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 y'all on your own shit. Yeah, you facts. Know what I'm y'all on your own shit. Yeah, facts though. But it, but like that's the thing about it. I always pay homage what homage is do. Like I know the the, the you know the front two mm-hmm. funnel thing came originally came from New York. You know what I'm saying? But as far as who the first people who started smoking it in DC was Uptown dudes, no West dudes. Cause Uptown, Uptown had like a, um, a heavy Caribbean. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was neighborhoods just all Jamaicans and Jamaican descendants. A lot of um, a lot of Jamaicans came to Uptown in the '80s. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When DC was like New Jack City. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but now, nah, hold Tito. But now, nah, hold up. It's a sad question I want to ask, right? Mm-hmm. I posted this right here. I'm a big Dipset fan, right? right? And I know you you from Brooklyn, and that's Manhattan, Harlem. That's two different sides, right? Yeah, but I, but but as New York is a collective. You gotta you gotta you know the you know the you know Jewels and Jim Jones was talking about the Nike boots mm-hmm. and the Air Bubble Nike boots, mm-hmm. and he was talking about the uh, black one. He said. New York was the first one to start wearing the air, the uh, the Nike boots, the all black Nike boots with the air bubbles. Uh, I have to say this, they, they they might be right, yo. How soon though? We could debate that, bro. Yo, because I'm, I'm saying maybe I'm talking early '90s, like '90s, 1990s. We had the Nike boots since the '90s, and not just that, we had the. And that's since I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean? So I don't know, y'all. You know, since the '90s, we had. Yeah, so. Cause Nike boots is like new New Balances, Nike boots. You know what I'm saying? Those are like big in DC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like the Helly Hansons. Like Helly Hansons. So we was wearing the Helly Hansons. I remember that though. Photo. Yeah, 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 I remember that. So, so it's kind of like I, I'm gonna be honest. You know, we feel like we started all that first because we remember in the old days. We talking about like '94. We was wearing Helly yeah. Hansons. You can listen to May song. Um, I went from Mini Mansion to Helly Hansons. You know what I'm saying? He, Mace was talking about that. Yeah, yeah, facts. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not saying, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying a lot of stuff that, you know, maybe y'all was doing that out here too, but mm. we feel like we were doing it first. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, yeah. out here to see what y'all was doing. That's what I'm saying, because... Everybody be like, bro, like, like when Jules was like, man, you know, he he basically said in his interview, he was like, you know, they always watch us, and I, I swear to you, on 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 the most high, bro, we never looked at any other state <laughs> anywhere. Like it's just like with Baltimore, Baltimore say, oh y'all took the new balances from us. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how? Mm-hmm. Like, and I love my Baltimore. Shout out my boy True Laws. Shout out to my man, uh, uh, my, my all my Baltimore dudes. Right. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. But I never like if you know the difference between DC and Baltimore, DC is way more fashionable than Baltimore, and the Baltimore dude will admit that too. So it's like we never took a fashion statement. We never went to Baltimore and was like, "Damn that crack, we about to rock that." You know what I'm saying? So nah. So New Balance is like New Balance has been a thing since the '70s. Nike Boost has been a thing out here in, D- in DC for a minute, and the DMV for a minute. Mm-hmm. It was to the point where the when, when the bubbles first came out in '07. But we had the pre-releases like in 0405. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they sold it in DC and Baltimore. So Baltimore was rocking it too low key, but DC was heavy on it though. You know what I'm saying? Nah, right. But I'm not knocking New York though. You know what I'm saying? And I will always give respect where respect you is know, due. You know New York niggas always do this shit. You yeah, facts. Right, 
And just that's, like you said, you know, it was some it was some Brooklyn flappers niggas that brought the Fronto out there. Yeah, yeah, facts. Probably, and I'm gonna pay homage though. Probably brought a lot of other things too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because <laughs> you gotta think about it. Dude, New York dudes was in the in the go go pictures with you know with us. Oh wow! Yeah, I so didn't know that. you know what I'm saying? It was dudes in, from New York in the go go pictures with us. You know, because everybody think it was always the animosity towards DC and New York because they, you know well, what I'm saying? A lot of you know, I guess with the um. The Wayne Perry situation. Alpo situation. Yeah, it was just like, because Alpo wasn't the only one from New York that came down here. Of course, but you know, his situation, I guess, got, you know, because they paid their full movie too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world know about Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody like, nah, we don't rock with New York and nothing like that. Nah, it was not like that because, like, even like, I don't know if you ever seen the front, the uh, Sean Branch interview, right? Mm -hmm. He was like, nah, we had some solid dudes from New York and we made sure they was good out here. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't always like that. Like he his his right hand man was from Brooklyn. They even warned him about Alpo. You see, and that's the thing. Um, you know, in New York we got our own separate thing. So Queens maybe do their own thing. Bronx, yeah, Alpo facts. may do their own thing together. And then Brooklyn, we always do our own thing. So yeah. at the end of the day, you know, you, you kind of got to judge New York kind of like by neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, facts. One place. Yeah, just like facts. DC. Yeah, facts. You, you know can't know some just because somebody do something credit you in Southeast that don't re reflects on somebody that's from uptown exactly, or Northeast. Exactly. So they, yeah, yeah, so, yeah you know I'm saying because everybody from the because you know what I'm saying like uh, you like you could definitely tell the difference between an uptown and the South Side. Dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, uptown, and I don't want to ruffle my South Side man. But Uptown's always been like the fly guys get money guys. Okay, right, South Southeast always been a grimy hood. Don't get it some hood, it's some fly getting money dudes in Southeast too. But anybody, 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 any part of DC, Northeast, Southwest, Southeast, they would tell you Uptown dudes was always known for being fly and getting money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then like you know, you know, we come from that South South Side's a grimy, grimy Section Eight area block. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uptown, Uptown, more people own their homes. Uh, uh, you know, you know, it's getting gentrified, gentrified and stuff like that uptown. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that, so it's a little, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying it's a little bit more. How can I break it out? It's more metropolitan, like, like it's more like fast. It's faster mm -hmm. than the South Side. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's a lot of things moving. It's like kind of like how New York, like you go, you know, you you in a hotel up there. It's like forcing for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of quiet because it's quarantine. But if you there on a good summer night, it's lit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right, it's lit. Like it's right. people, hundreds, thousands of people walking yeah, through every day, yeah. all night. Different. Yeah, it's different. So you know, it's different uptown. So it's a little bit more faster. Yeah, so they have like uh, they have to like kind of isolate over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like far away from everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, I rock with the city, man. I rock with the whole DMV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I rock with the DMV rap scene, heavy. Yeah, facts. Like, you you actually had interviewed a couple artists too, right? I, I interviewed three old black. Three yeah, three facts. Black. Three old. That's my man. Yo, bro is official. Um, show me mad love, mad. You know what I mean? Your real one. Um. Who else I interviewed from I, uh, I think you say Gunu too? I, of course, Gunu, I interviewed Gunu. Mm -hmm. um, and then you actually had pulled up in the hood. You actually pulled up around 640 uptown. Mm -hmm. and, and shot an interview with some youngers who was shooting yeah, a movie. They, they used to shoot a, a web series. Um, yeah. Damn, shout out to y'all. I can't remember your name, man. The, yo, they showed me mad love too. Young as they was holding down uptown. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, they was they doing their thing. Web series, I peaked and I was like, yo, let me go tap in with the youth while I'm out here. Yeah, yeah, you facts. Know what I'm I tapped in with them. Some other kid that name was Swipe Tuli. I, I I know who Swipe Tuli is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I a few DC artists though. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Nah, you know? facts though, man. Nah, yeah, facts. I, I like the DC scene. My own. <laughs> Definitely three old each black. One of my favorite DC rappers. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, I like well, Big uh, Big Don uh, Dino. Big Don Bino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. He just got out of jail. Oh world? Yeah, he just did a uh, two and a half year bed, man. Oh wow, bro is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you know. That shit. You know yeah, yeah. In fact, he know, just got he shit. just got out. So then you got the um like the other niggas from the towns, like I guess they not like they DMV, like um Gunu. Yeah, they from like PG County. Dude, yeah, they're the Merlin artists. He's a fool. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Zan Man, of course. People yeah, yeah, like yeah. It was crazy. Like, yeah, facts, 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 facts. Nah, no questions, no questions, though, man. Whole time, though, man. Mm -hmm. So, like, now that you like the biggest thing right here now, man. What's the next goals and agendas now, man? Um, you know, I, I you know, I would want to say it, but last time I said something, you know, see, I got a lot of people that follow what I do too. Yeah, facts. So I'm gonna tell you off camera because me and you, you know, we fuck with each other. Yeah, yeah, facts. But like I ain't saying that on okay, camera because last time I said something on okay, camera in my last interview, like uh, I said what I was gonna do next. Nigga, shot jump on the floor, got a chance to even do it. Yeah, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know, New York different. You know yeah, fact. So, yeah, I love to see like a Mel's TV podcast or something, man. That'd yeah, be I, nice. I've got locations. I had that in the workings, but um, yeah. You know, uh, it, it's a lot. It's it, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if I'm saying stay tuned, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, nah, you know facts I mean? though, man. Facts, no questions. Um, but definitely, yo, bro. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, M E L Z T V, Mel's TV. Yeah, facts. Um, go follow me on Instagram. All social media is the same, M E L Z T V. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, next time I come back out here, the bro gonna pull up with me. We gonna go do some interviews together. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Some DC artists, DMV artists. You know what it is? What it is? Stay tuned. Subscribe. Yeah. Go subscribe to DMV for the news. Bro doing his thing. So yeah, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm working. I'm working hard just like you, man. Mm -hmm. Be like you when I grow up, man. Yeah. <laughs> you motivate me, bro. Yeah, no questions, man. No questions, though, man. Any last minute shout outs, though? Yo, shout out to the whole Brooklyn drill movement. Yeah, facts. I didn't mention your name. You know, I'm smoking and drinking all day. But shout, shout you out, though. Y'all know I love all y'all. Mm hmm. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. What's uh one little bonus question? What's the advice to the youngest uh, in the Brooklyn drink, drill movement? And, um, 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 don't stop, keep going, and uh, make sure you, you know, if you're going to diss and all that, just be careful, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you really rock with that, though? Um, hold on, make sure you enjoy the fruits. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. Make sure you enjoy the fruits of your label, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit like that, and now I don't rock with really the name calling and people calling out people dead man saying they smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm too old to even care, you know, that's that. Mm-hmm. That's like that's not from my generation. People yeah, facts. I agree. I highly agree with that. I don't no, I don't agree with it, but it is what it is and I was young before so I understand how you know how the young is you know. Yeah, yeah. You, you was young, you was young and wild and it's yeah, the same so third. I, I, I understand them but I don't agree with it. Mm hmm Yeah, man. Facts, facts, man. I definitely appreciate it, though, man. I definitely appreciate it, man. We definitely locked in, man. I, you know, I want to give a big thanks and shout out to you, bro, because you you was you was fucking with me when I first when I was first coming course, up. Man, course, you know what I'm saying? You know, so great minds think alike. Go subscribe. Facts. We gone. Support DMV Hills and News. Mm -hmm. Gone.